Welcome back to our channel. We are Blackhawk Canine, a relationship-based dog training company who shares their training journey and connects with clients through this channel. If you're interested in learning more or following along on the journey, don't forget to hit that follow or subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at board and train Knox. This is his week three update. This week, we of course worked on more dog neutrality. We worked on some e-collar conditioning, duration in the down, sit, and also healing with distractions. Obviously, again, for him, our biggest priority is the dog neutrality. So that's pretty much what we're doing a whole day, every day with him. So prior number one is dog neutrality. Something I want to note is that you will see him jump on Eliza a couple of times. And the reason that we're not correcting that is because for us, the important part is him choosing to re-engage rather than to engage with the dog. So the jumping and all of those behaviors can easily be fixed after the fact. But right now, we really just want to encourage him. You can see that she's not putting him in obedience. She's not asking him to do anything crazy. She's literally just asking for attention and he's giving it to her here. So you'll see big celebrations between the two of them where he gets really excited and jumps on her and that's okay. All I care about right now is that he is celebrating the win where he made a really good choice and so they got to have a party together. So there's no corrections there. So you see him jump a little bit. She just kind of protects her face but there's no correction for it because we don't care at this point. All I care about is him making good choices. Back behind the tree, you can actually kind of see over by the cars over there, there's actually another dog, which is what he's sort of fixating on. You can see it there. There's that choice that he uh, makes to re-engage instead. Again, she's not saying anything to him. She's just having a party with him when he makes a choice to re-engage. This is the difference between working in the emotional state of the dog and suppressing the behavior. So I could easily put him in obedience. I could put him in a sit, in a down, in a place, whatever that is, and ask dogs to walk around him. And that would be more into our suppression. Him choosing not to react is really where we get into the behavioral change where he emotionally has decided to not engage with a dog and that it was more rewarding for him to engage back in with Eliza. As always, this video is sped up a little bit and it is also just one clip so you can see what a training session looks like. This is obviously significantly better. He is starting to wear his e-collar. You can see that strap here. Um, it's actually red in the video, but we just switched him over to the orange strap that's going to actually be his. You can see he jumped again. He had a nice little party and he was really excited. One of the things you'll notice is that he is still fixating. So as they get closer, he'll stop and he fixates there. He did a really nice job of not fixating, but he will get there and he'll fixate. He'll get really stiff. He may lean into the leash a little bit and Eliza just kind of moving on like nothing happened. <laughs> so she's gonna move it a little better so you can see a little more of the other dog and see the interaction. Um, but that's what's happening here is that we are, you can see him fixate, he makes a choice and she's gonna pay for that and give him lots of kibble for that. He's doing a really nice job. She kind of threw some kibble into the grass there to just let him decompress and do some displacement sniffing and um, kind of get off the walkway. So here he fixated, immediately chooses to re-engage, big payments there. She's gonna ask them to move around a little bit now to make it a little more challenging for him since he's doing so well. Re-engage, immediately back pay, and this is kind of where the parties come in. You can see he's kind of hopping around, gets a little overexcited there. She helps him kind of rein it back in. He's jumping, that's okay, right? Look how happy he is. That's all we want from him is to want to be there, to want to engage with her rather than to bark at those other dogs. Really, really nice engagement there. You saw him he kind of bolted a little bit. She just stopped, he's thinking about it, and there's that choice. There's a choice and there's the party, the jumping, that's okay. This was a really, really good week for him. He did a really nice job. He's finally settling in. He's starting to make good choices. And you can see like even there in the heel, a little stiff and great choice there. And she's immediately bringing back in. Think, he's thinking about it and back in. Again, she's not saying anything. She's offering him food if he wants it. And if he doesn't, that's okay. But here, just having a good time, feeding him, no pressure, dogs walking, he's sniffing and re-engagement. All right, guys, that is all that we have today for our weekly board and train update. 
Thank you for tuning in. If you want to find out how we can help you reach your training goals with your dog, please reach out to us and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.